All right, let's do part two of the Dragon's Reach, I believe it's called. Oh, let me do this real quick. I didn't have a chance to ask beforehand. <sighs> me to record this. Let me catch you up on what's happening. Queen Jenna can't attend the summit because someone has accused her of conspiring with Scarlet. The hearing is the same cool. day. Good to know. Someone's lying, and we have to figure out who. Soon as we know, we can confront that person and get them to recant their statement. The one person gonna watch this. We need this. to talk to everyone. Find clues to the truth and build evidence to defend the queen. Once we discover who among them is the mastermind, we'll take action. Now, I'm not sure but if this. Be careful. These people are suspicious and sensitive. Say something too blunt or off-putting, and they'll clam up. If we're obviously undermining their plans, they'll have us escorted out of the party, and it will all have been for nothing. All right. Everything due to say. Now this may, I'm probably going to set this up to go after part one. I'm probably just going to go and redo the story stuff. My mesmer. <clears throat> Introducing a hero who needs no introduction, the commander of the pact, and accompanying the lit, uh, <clears throat> yes, uh, Kazmir Mead. <sighs> Keep it together, Kaz. You can get through this. Be confident, like Jory. Kazmir, come over here. Don't look so glum. Oh, it's her. I remember her from the human story. Hello, dear Casimir. Don't worry your little face over what the Herald's papers say. You'll always be noble in my eyes. Countess Anise. That's direct and kind of you to say. I'm afraid I don't feel particularly yeah, noble. Then we must do something about that. Nobility isn't in the blood, as so many believe. It's in your choices. Uh-huh. Your return to grace is only a pardon away. May if your talent for detecting lies talent. is all you say it is, well, let's just say I'm confident we can convince the Queen your value overrides your father's misfortune. I only hope to be of some small service, Countess. Find oh dear. Okay, let's start picking apart everything they say. One of these ministers is spreading lies about the Queen. Don't misunderstand, Countess. I'm certainly grateful to you for purchasing my billet and putting me to work. I'm just not sure I understand the reasoning behind dragging me to the soiree of his Hmm. Maybe Good to meet you. How's it going? How's it going? Blah blah blah. All right. Care for an order? Oh! I don't really care. Order. You're a terrible person. Goodbye. <laughs> what the hell? This is random. And you are... Ah, excuse me. <laughs> More wine, please, waiter. You can ask her preference on dessert wine, but... What is it? <laughs> but I thought for certain it was say, Minister hey, Wee who attended court the day Scarlet was there. Are you sure? Mm. Details. May Lissa aid you. So, do you like gardening? Oh, 
Scar's husband, neither can I. I should record the day Scar had an audience with the Queen. He was, he's probably involved with the nest. He lies about the Queen. Newton. Yeah. How is everything? Since oh, I do hope you're enjoying it. Minister Wee we with Minister Estelle. Or Renard to my memory just isn't what he used to be. I remember hearing afterward that Scarlet approached the Queen. Tell me, no one paid any attention back then. It's as if the Scarlet was a nobody until the Queen's the Jubilee. Mm. <laughs> Order. I sense a trendsetter. Time is you precious. Get that charming brooch. Uh, Responsibility uh, isn't easy. It's like food, huh? Asked me which pair I wanted to suggest I couldn't afford both. Why, I should have slapped him on the spot. Why, I should have slapped him on the spot. What is it? It's Master How Wheat. Is everything? At your service. Oh, on him. So good to see you, Lady Wee undermines the queen. That's not gonna. Oops. Speak up, will you? I'm a little hard of hearing. <laughs> I wish Anise hadn't invited the ministers. They make me so uncomfortable. Especially minister... Excuse me, are you eavesdropping? Yes. Please continue. Oh, gods, how did they get in here? It's just to the truffle stick. Oops. Uh, you joined the party. Someone get rid of that filthy cat before the guests see it. <laughs> They need is definitely more guild doors one ties. It's a lot of talking in this part, so it's not really much commentating other than just listening. Of course, Codicus would be involved in anything that undermines the queen, but he's not the one accusing her. We have to find that person. Okay. Retreat! Easy last part. <laughs> Am I to intimidate these ministers and aristocrats to put them off guard? Surely you can't imagine that these dandies pose some kind of threat to you? Hmm? Are you even paying attention, or do you simply not care? Either way, you are a maddening woman. Pass here. What? Minister Estelle is being pressured by Minister Marula to retire? Oh, she would never. She's far too ambitious. 
I'm not sure about this. Minister Estelle. If she's been meeting with Codicus, she may know something. Got an objective. Hey. Retreat! This shrimp bisque is Stop bad. right there. I, need to I don't care pool. about your dog's new haircut. May I fill your glass for you? I can take that. Thank you. That's not gonna work. Hmm. Yeah, there we go. So day really to You've convinced me. It looks like Minister Estelle is the one spreading this horrible rumor. Let's keep at it. If we're going to confront her, we'll need serious evidence to back us up. I know for a fact that the Queen had a private talk with Scarlet. How? Everyone is saying it, so it must be true. Yeah. That's how facts work. Observation. I had a feeling she was lying. The Queen wouldn't hold a private meeting with just anyone, much less a Silvari with no political connections. This woman will testify. Does that remove this circle, or is there more in this circle? Yeah. Might as well check if there's more in this circle. I'm guessing that was it, because that was the person that was nearest to this circle. I see Minister Estelle has political ambitions. She's been having a lot of private meetings with Minister Codicus. Retreat! I can take that. Thank you. To the other circle. So good to see you, Minister. You seem distracted, Countess. What are you looking for in this you crowd? You must be mistaken. My niece I knows a guard who heard from a doorman that the Queen... Search. Oh. I've if there's nothing much. in particular you need me to do, would you mind if I help myself to some of your refreshments? <laughs> Am I really so dull? Well, here's something interesting. <laughs> would you like to know how long a severed I'm head remains sorry, conscious? Up to your high standards. Okay. I suppose not. This morning. Do you let me know if you need me to do more than make debutantes and fops uncomfortable. Good to meet you. <laughs> She's a lesbian. <laughs> Countess Anise hardly ever lets the Queen out of her sight. She and the guard will corroborate the Queen's alibi. Retreat! There was something over here. Just don't know what. Um, what to say? There's someone over here. I think he went in there. Is lying a prerequisite for being uh, there? We go, the guard. Servant. Greetings. Uh, oops. May I fill your glass, please? Hmm. 